one member of the England team at the Rugby World Cup could have gone down a very different path by playing football for Manchester United. England rugby captain Owen Farrell could have had an entirely different sporting career, having met with former Manchester United manager Sir Alex Ferguson as a youngster with the view to signing for the football club. The fly half became his country's record points scorer during the Rugby World Cup, surpassing Johnny Wilkinson but could have ended up utilizing his kicking ability with a much rounder ball. Farrell was coveted by both rugby and football teams growing up and at the age of 13 he was even offered a trial at United. He was given a tour of Old Trafford and even met legendary manager Ferguson as they attempted to sway him away from rugby. United goalkeeping coach Richard Hartis was in attendance when the now rugby icon was showcasing his footballing skills at United and has offered an insight into Farrell's footballing talents and how he would have fitted in with the Red Devils. Speaking to the Telegraph, he said, Owen was terrific. You could just tell from within a few minutes of meeting him that he carried himself really well. I remember him looking me straight in the eye and giving a firm handshake. He fitted into our culture really, really well. You don't know if he would have made it because he was only with us a few months. But we absolutely would have liked him to stay. You can always tell when you meet a top-class sportsman, they have that air about him and he did. However, Farrell also received an offer from rugby union side Saracens and opted to go down that path a decision he more than likely will not regret having captained his country at the World Cup before their bitter defeat to South Africa in the semi-finals. What part his father made in the decision is unknown, but Farrell could have wanted to follow in his dad's footsteps after Andy Farrell represented England in both rugby league and union, while also playing for and coaching Saracens before going on to become the Ireland head coach in 2019. Farrell was tipped to be a star goalkeeper of the future and Hartis says that if his father had not moved to Saracens then there is no telling where the England captain could have ended up. Owen came in and coped with the demands of the elite environment really well, he added. Technically, he was robbed of those attributes you would look for in a top-class performer, of being a winner, of being a leader, of taking information on board quickly, were all there. And he was able to adapt to the rules, and to the technical stuff, very quickly. When his dad went to Saracens, we just ripped that form up. But if Andy hadn't moved, who knows what might have been.